What's going on guys and welcome back to the second team of the season player review today We're going to be looking at Sushi, Sushai, whoever you say his name um, The Basel and Czech Republic International So let's get right into his stats guys As you can see we've put him in this team If you haven't checked out the Brian Ruiz player review Make sure to go check that out, it was the last video on my channel uh, But yeah let's get right into it He's got 81 pace which is insane for a centre back 85 defending as well along with 87 physical um, He's got low high work rates, he's 6 foot tall Right footed as well 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill move He only cost me 14,000 coins which is absolutely insane considering the stats he has um, and in the six games he sadly got zero goals and zero assists but he did get quite close to getting a few goals um, on numerous occasions guys so we'll get right into the clips now and also his in-game stats his in-game stats are as follows 85 interceptions 82 agility 94 jumping which is insane uh, 83 reactions, 84 sprint feed, 83 stamina, 91 strength there as well. Um, he does have 93 heading accuracy along with 88 short pass, 82 shot power and 82 marking. Also 84 long pass. Um, he's also got 88 short pass, um, which I already said, 81 slide tackle and 86 stand tackle. 27 years old, he's 6 foot tall, um, centre back, Czech Republic, all the things you already know. And he's got no specialities and no traits, guys. So let's get into it. Um, the thing about this card was... I'm just going to put it out there right away. I didn't really notice him that much. I didn't notice him as much as I wanted to. The other centre back beside him, who I believe was 75 rated, non rare or something like that, I noticed him a lot more than an 84 rated team this season. That doesn't seem right. As you can see, going in some menacing runs here, um, just intercepting the ball. And he, he loved to go in runs. I like to go in runs with him. He actually was decent at runs. You may not think he would be too good on the ball, but he really is. So that is one of the probably positives I liked about him. Um, as you can see here, really unlucky. He got through basically his whole defence. And I believe this is the one we hit the post yes it is if that don't end up being an absolute beauty his price ranges are also 10,750 to 200k on each console um so he is he could be going for quite a lot if he wanted them to if he or if even the fans wanted them to but he is only going for roughly 14k guys so really easy to pick up definitely go pick him up if you're going to build that kind of squad that week it is hard to kind of link him up that's probably one of the reasons he is cheap as well but overall he was a decent card nothing too special nothing that I would probably brag about too much, just an average kind of centre back card, and that is why I've only given him seven out of ten because he did cost me fourteen k, and he was a team of the season. I was expecting a lot more than what I actually got from him. Um, the positives are his pace, of course. He wasn't really getting outpaced by anybody. His strength as well was decent, and his tackling when he did get in the positions where he could tackle, because he didn't really notice him mu that much. But when he, he did notice him, um, he did make some good tackles. So that is something I have to say about him. The negative will be I didn't notice him a lot. Not noticeable. He, honestly. Guys, I barely noticed him the whole time in the six games. Only a few tackles and a few runs that he made. That's about it. The other centre back was a lot better. Um, but yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't terrible, but. He wasn't too good at the same time, guys. So, if you have enjoyed this review, make sure to drop a like. If we can hit 20 likes, then it'd be absolutely insane, guys. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. The next review, there will be a stropple, so go check that um, out to guess or to pick who you want me to review next out of Team of the Season cards I have already recorded. And also, I've got a new Snapchat, guys. It's called The Real MGQ. Just type in T H E R E A L M J Q, and that will be your sorted, guys. Just type that in the Snapchat, add it, and then I'll be uploading loads of snaps and onto my story and stuff like that on there. Um, and yeah, apart from that, guys, I will see you guys next time.